So the first thing we really want to do is to thank everybody who was involved in today's events. So um, a big round of applause for all our presenters. Thank you very much. I also, I also want to thank um, everybody who actually submitted a paper. We kind of know like preparing a paper and presenting is an awful lot of work and so that's just fantastic that people would do that. I want to thank the program committee. So Kristen, uh, Tiago, who's on his phone down at the front, say hi, uh, Bob and Luciano. So a round of applause. And I also want to thank uh, Robert and Roger, our local crew at the back, who've been helping out with the audio and video. Say hi, guys. Great job. Congrats. And just you know, thank you to all yourselves for coming along, whether you're here in person or virtually. OK, now, um, one final thank you to our sponsors, to Google, Erecto, and a lot all as well. Now. So I think that for me, I always get this feeling whenever I come to KubeCon and Cloud Native Column, it's like, oh my God, it's moving so fast. How am I ever going to keep up? And, and I, so far, just this day, I, I feel the same as always. But I, at the same time, I can't stop thinking that it's, it's a bright future ahead. I, I feel like I'm impressed by the, the, uh, the progress that we're doing in every type of field. And I'm kind of amazed of what the things that we build together is something that can actually change the world. And I think that it's not only I that believe that. I, I'm very much colored by my current situation. I'm, I'm sad I'm a startup. We are scaling up, so I'm hiring a lot. And that's not because I want to hire, even though if that would be nice. But I'm saying that because I think that it's not only me that is looking for people with your competence. Take the next slide. So if we're looking for data engineers in Europe and, and North America, then it's like, this is open positions right now on LinkedIn, or like last week, to be honest. And there are 8.5 thousand and around 22.5 thousand open positions, just for data engineering. If we do look at Kubernetes, there's even more, there's a lot. If you wanna work with Kubernetes and you don't do it today, I can guarantee you there's a possibility of doing that. And also if we look to the future then, then we have the AI. And honestly, it's like, I'm not even sure people know what they want to do with it, but a lot of people want to do something. So there's a lot to do. It's huge. I think it's probably the most exciting part of tech at the moment. Definitely. So we spent a lot of time looking at some of the technical aspects of doing AI on Kubernetes, but it's always good to kind of just zoom out and think about the bigger picture. So here are a few quotes that maybe will inspire you in the same way that it inspired me. Um, success in creating idea, AI will be the biggest event in human history. Unfortunately, it might be the last. That's from Stephen Hawkins. Um, this is from Alan Turing. Uh, who obviously the inventor of the Turing machine. It seems probable that once the machine thinking method had started, it's a lovely old world language, isn't it? It would not take long to outstrip our feeble powers. They would be able to converse with each other, to sharpen their wits at some stage. Therefore, we should have to expect the machines to take control. And this last quote from Jan Likun, professor at New York University, our intelligence is what makes us human. And AI is an extension of that quality. Now, I think... Let's revisit our competition. The most so, exciting parts. Yes. Everyone excited. So, drum roll. Yes, thank you. Our first winner. Hey, look. We have a bunch of data. I'm going to uh, take a look at it and analyze it. No, you fool. We'll create more data. And then we will have more data to analyze, so we can create more data and, and then analyze that as well. We are super happy with this contribution. Uh, so we would like, uh, Anya, if you are here, to come up on the stage and claim your prize. Woo! I should, we get, should, we get every, should we get every up, yeah? Yeah. Go for it. So um, we have, please come up on the stage, and we will uh, go through the ones that we have right now. And we have the second one, Casper, who had uh, a build on, on Alex awesome joke. Uh, there are 10 types of people, those who understand ternary, those who don't, and those who thought this was a binary yoke. <laughs> a great round of applause for that one. And Casper, please join us on stage. It's like and, an award ceremony, isn't it? It's brilliant. Yeah, definitely. You didn't expect that this morning. So, uh, and the last one is uh, <laughs> who lives on planet Kesa? It's the K natives. So, welcome up, Alexa. Woo! 
I'm, I'm not going to lie about this. I think we, the program committee came quite close to having an argument about what they thought the best joke was. Yes, we managed to definitely. Up quite close. <laughs> Thank you. Can I give you a, oh, I give you a, a great round of applause and thank you all for your contributions. Thank you, everybody.